if you clicked on this video, you're probably wondering, wait, why would incomplete studying improve my memory retention? Well, for starters, take this Apple Watch for example. It is obsessed with rings and you closing them. What's that about? It uses this very ring because Apple understands something that you don't. Your brain is obsessed with loops. And every time you open up a loop, your brain wants to close them. For example, when you clicked on this video, you opened up a loop in your brain asking yourself, why would incomplete studying help my memory retention? Now to help close that loop, let me explain. There's a psychological phenomenon called the Zygarnik effect, where your brain remembers tasks that are incomplete rather than the things that you have already completed. In other words, things that you have not yet completed are automatically kept in your working memory. It is kept at the forefront of your thoughts because your brain hates incomplete tasks. You see, when you do something, you actually open up a loop in your brain. Your brain wants to close that loop at any cost because your brain is so programmed to always complete the tasks that it is given. If I had to draw a circle right here and complete that circle, and then next to it, I had to draw another circle, but then stop before completing it, your brain and your attention is much more likely to go to the incomplete circle. And so in very much the same way, if you leave a task unfinished, your brain will nag you until you get that thing done. And so we can take that same psychological bias and apply it to learning and studying. If you have to study a chapter in a textbook, start by dividing that chapter into multiple different sections. Now begin the first section and study it, but only cover the first 75% of the material in one study session. Then take a short break to give your brain a rest. But then after the break, come back and complete the remaining 25% of that section, and then immediately start the next section in that chapter but only study it about halfway through. Don't complete the next section. The idea is that once again, as you are nearing towards the end of that subject, stop right there for a break. And basically you just need to keep repeating this, stopping midway or about 75% of the way through every section that you study. Because by doing this, you open up multiple different loops that your brain is craving to close. And this technique leverages the Zygarnik effect to keep your brain engaged and focused on the section that it needs to complete, boosting your memory of the subject in the process. You're basically tricking your brain into constantly seeking endless loops that it needs to close. Because a lot of us sit down and we think that we need to complete the entire chapter in one go. And while that may give us a sense of accomplishment, because your brain has completed that task, it's more likely that that completed task goes to the back of your thoughts, to the back of your focus, and less likely that you are going to remember it. But instead, this art of incomplete studying, where you leave study sections incomplete and then pick up where you left off in the next study session, harnesses the fact that your brain simply will not rest until it releases itself from the tension of an unfinished task, boosting your memory and retention of the material in the process. So try this today and let me know if it works. But this video itself would not be complete if you viewed it on its own. In fact, this is a second video of a much larger loop that I have opened up with you, the viewer, a four part series on the neuroscience of memory and learning. This Zygarnik effect is very closely linked to a neuroscience concept called interleaving. And when you combine the two, your memory and retention of the material will skyrocket. And I actually tell you more about how to do that in this video right here. I'll see you there.